Hello? Can you help me? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry.
Sorry I tricked you. But thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there. After I deal with you. I've got you now. I see you reached your destination safely. Shall we get to work? As you know, the Platinum chip upgrades my Securitron's operating software. Well, there's an army of them here. The Securitrons policing this strip are a fraction of the total number manufactured. The rest I stored here. I need you to manually upload the data from the chip to the facility's primary computer. There's a terminal at the other end of this facility. There's a complication. While I can broadcast to this screen, I can't control any of the facility's systems. That means I can't deactivate its security bots, most of which appear to be active according to the status board I'm looking at. Good. I won't hold you up any longer. Stop wasting time. Go upload the data on the platinum chip to the facility's primary Please computer. Clear. This is now up. Fire zone. Continued resistance is unlawful. Return to the Lucky 38 so we can discuss next steps. You have a very bright future ahead of you. Thanks to your actions today, so does the rest of mankind. Oh, 
suddenly I feel all tingly, and I find I've got a rocket launcher. How sweet of you to notice, sugar. I've been upgraded to the Mark II software, and it's peachy having these high explosive weapons fully accessible. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take it and put it with the rest of the collection. Enjoy your time in peace. The foundation is laid. My Securitrons on the Strip are upgraded, and those at the Fort ready for action. Now it's just a matter of adjusting the attitudes of some lesser groups, while we wait for Caesar's Legion to attack Hoover Dam. Outside New Vegas, at what was once called Nellis Air Force Base, resides an unusual tribe known as the Boomers. They are, shall we say, aggressively reclusive. They have several howitzers they fire at anyone who dares approach the base. Artillery of this sort has a range of several miles. If it's going to fire on Hoover Dam, I want it firing at my targets. If not, then I want to make sure that the Boomers don't sign similar treaties to fire their guns in support of the NCR or Caesar's Legion. Well done. The Boomers' firepower may prove an advantage when the battle for Hoover Dam comes around. Your next assignment would have been to investigate the Omertus, but you managed to foil their scheme before I could put you to the task. I should compensate you as though it were an official assignment, however. Wouldn't want to disincentivize your proactivity. Your next assignment is to locate and destroy remnants of the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. The NCR nearly did the job at Helios 1 a few years ago, but there seem to have been survivors, unfortunately. Given the Brotherhood's fanatical views on technology, they can be counted on to oppose my regime. Please, put them out of my misery. You're absolutely right. You must have had run-ins with them, as have I. Since 2278, I've lost five roaming Securitrons near Hidden Valley. I didn't receive any clear video of the incident, but telemetry from the units destroyed indicates they were attacked with energy weapons. It's obvious that the Brotherhood has a base in Hidden Valley or thereabouts. Finding it won't be easy, but getting inside will be the real trick. We're talking about a coterie of bulging-eyed fanatics who think all pre-war technology belongs to them. They'll never accept my using an army of robots to defend New Vegas. While it's a fight I can win, I'd rather sidestep it altogether. A few questions, and then you'll handle the Brotherhood, I hope? By my calculations, his death will affect the shape of the battle for Hoover Dam minimally, if at all. The Legion's aggression will outlive Caesar. Indeed, they'll try to take the dam as a tribute to his memory. Given a year, they'd have him deified. But by then, the Legion will be breaking down, riven by internal conflicts, a monster consuming itself. It's irrelevant. In the short term, the Legion is still monster enough that defeating it will make me look powerful indeed. What else did you want to discuss? I recommend following the Securitron's instructions. Its programming is strict, and I don't have time to change it. What else did you want to discuss? Yes, I know. It was detected immediately and deactivated, let's see, 39.735 seconds after you planted it. You thought I wouldn't notice.
Have you destroyed the Brotherhood of Steel? Not surprising. Also, not acceptable. I didn't ask you to tell me what they were planning. I asked you to kill them. This was a waste of time. Go back to the bunker and destroy it. My directions have been clear from the start. Have you destroyed the Brotherhood? And why would you have done that? Success depends on forcing the NCR to rout from Hoover Dam. Hmm, does giving them a powerful ally in the battle make that more or less likely? Your assignment is unchanged. Destroy the Brotherhood of Steel. Please get it right this time. Have you destroyed the brother? Hidden Valley is the place to keep working then. Hey, look who's here. Have you destroyed the Brotherhood of Steel? Single-handedly destroying a Brotherhood of Steel bunker is quite an accomplishment. Platoons of NCR troops have died trying to do the same. This welcome news comes just in time, as events in the wider world are coming to a head. Aaron Kimball, the president of the new California Republic, is going to visit Hoover Dam to boost morale. Apparently, he hasn't considered the effect on the troops' morale of seeing their beloved leader get his brains blown out by a Legion sniper. I need you to make sure that no harm comes to President Kimball. It's fortunate that you've maintained good relations with the NCR. Simple. An NCR ranger named Graham is in charge of security arrangements for the visit. Present yourself to him. Let him know you want to help. Given your reputation, it's a near certainty that he'll accept your offer. Don't dally. The precise time of Kimball's visit is a closely guarded secret, but it will happen soon. Glad you're here to help us out. This is a delicate matter, and we need all the help we can get from people we can trust. We've got a lot to do to prepare for the president's visit, and not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Are you ready? Good. The president doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Get some rest. I'll brief you in the morning. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. The plan is to get through today without the shit hitting the fan. So I'll be overseeing the security team personally, and keeping in constant contact with people over the radio. It's a good bet that the Legion is gonna try something today, so we have to be prepared for anything. We'll do whatever it takes to get the President through this visit in one piece. Ask your questions, but keep it short. We trust you, so you're free to have your weapons. Just don't do anything too crazy, and we'll back you up. Security detail consists of rangers stationed here at the dam. Some will keep an eye on the crown, while others will watch the perimeter. Snipers and sharpshooters have been assigned to key locations, and we also have a special canine unit sniffing out members of the crowd. I've also locked down access to critical locations, such as the landing platform on the visitor center. All right, I'll give you full access. Someone like you. I'm just glad to have you on board. Do whatever you can. Security sweeps, talk to people, keep an eye out. If there's nothing else, then let's get moving. President Kimball is arriving shortly. 
you want to do any last-minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. Don't take too long. It is for you that I have come here. And it is because of you that I am able to do so. We enjoy our privileges because you take the greatest of risks and are prepared to make the most noble sacrifice. Is there a problem here? I'm not sure what you mean. I think you have me confused with someone else. Sorry. That just ain't gonna happen. For Kaisar. If not for you, President Kimball would be dead. So you needn't feel guilty when the NCR's route from Hoover Dam demolishes his political career. The Legion has nothing left to wait for. Their assault on the dam could begin at any moment. Before that happens, I'll ask you to complete one other task. It may seem trivial, but that's far from the case. Between the Strip and Helios 1 lies the El Dorado electrical substation. Humble as it appears, the substation has immense strategic value, for it's there that you'll jumpstart the Lucky 38's dormant reactor. Gain access to the substation's control room and install this override module. Just so you know, there are NCR troops guarding the station. The strain of defending Las Vegas from annihilation exceeded my power system's capacity. My primary reactor shut down. For years, I played a miser with my emergency power supply. I began to run out of reserves around the time I woke the first batch of Securitrons. Negotiating an allotment of power from Hoover Dam was crucial. That's what's powered the Strip for the past seven years. I needed the operating software on the Platinum chip to bring it back online. And to start the reactor itself requires a tremendous jolt of current. Very attention-getting. The NCR has its hands full now, of course. I doubt they'll raise much of a fuss. This is not a good time to be dependent on energy from Hoover Dam. When the Legion attacks, the NCR may cut power altogether. And I'll be needing a good deal more power than the NCR has allotted to the Strip. Broadcasting encrypted VMQ-boosted command signals to hundreds of Securitrons eats up more power than you might expect. With this accomplished, all preparations will have been made. The battle for Hoover Dam will be upon us before long.
As you can see, Vegas is humming along. I've tested my C3I broadcasting arrays. Everything is in order. And just in time, as it turns out, the forces of Caesar's Legion are on the march, establishing a staging area east of the dam. Their assault could begin at any moment, so that's where you'll be heading if you're ready. Hoover Dam. Indeed they do. An army that'll be too distracted with killing legionaries to notice the real reason you're there. Your objective is to reach a control room halfway across the dam and install an override module similar to the one you used at the substation. The override will enable me to control the entire dam's power output. You may remember how the bunker at the fort was rather dimly lit. Well, just like the Lucky 38, it needs a big jolt of electricity to power up. You've already uploaded the new operating system to the Securitrons. All they need is power, and they'll be in fighting trim. We've accomplished a great deal, you and I. One last task and our work is complete. I'll see you in the control room. I knew you'd make it. Resourceful as always. The override module is functioning properly. I'm rerouting power to the Securitron vault at the fort as we speak. I just need you to head over to the east power plant and manually activate the switch. When you return topside, I think you'll see that my Securitron army is a little more than the Legion was prepared to handle. Oh, and before you go, grab that printout spooling from the console here. Those papers set the terms for the NCR's unconditional surrender. 
I thought you might enjoy the honor of presenting them to the NCR's commanding officer once the Legion has been defeated. Cheers.
And who are you to come before me? You bear the insignia of the bear, yet you do not wear it as a soldier of the West wears it. Many graves in the East are filled with those who said as much, with braver words, not backed by strength. It is Kaiser's will this gate to the West bear the flag of the Legion. Kaiser's will shall be done. I see you fight with words, like all beneath the flag of the bear. Let us hope your skill with weapons proves greater. I have no need... When I... Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. Vegas? What, the families? Or house? You're talking about house. What is this Brahmin shit? I'm not getting the feeling we're all about to sing Kumbaya here. What the hell are you talking about? What is this? The free economic zone of New Vegas? What the hell does that mean? Oh, wait, here we go. Demands NCR's immediate withdrawal. Withdrawal? Like fucking hell we're withdrawing. We just held the dam. We didn't do it to let it go. This paper of yours isn't fit to wipe my ass. If you think after all that's happened, I'm going to grab my ankles and take it like the Legion. You know I won't surrender the dam. And certainly not to the ghost man of Vegas and his new right hand of the week. We held this place for years. Kicked one legged out of here so hard, Caesar burned him to a crisp. It's our post. We fought for it. I'll fight for it again today. If you're looking to convince me otherwise, you better have a lot more reasons than you just telling me to go. You sure got its heart beating in new ways. But that just makes me want all of it, not handouts. So you're saying without you, Hoover Dam just beats slower and dies? I believe it. I saw it myself this day. You woke it up, true enough. Still, even power from the dam, that's not enough to wash the salt out of the wound here. It only benefits NCR and the Mojave, not the West. Hmm, well... Vegas burns brighter than most cities west of the Divide, and that glitter has its appeal. Not sure that's going to mend fences with folks back west, though. But... No, no, no. You've given me enough ammo for the Republic. But what one head may like, the other bare head may not. Still, I'm not about to add blood to the mix since you could have done us like the Legion now if you wanted. <laughs> Look, house, Vegas, it's pretty. Got you blinded a bit, maybe. But NCR's got perks, too. Think about it before you sign on with him. And if you say no, keep in mind what that means. NCR may have its problems, but when we're riled, watch out.
Well, at least I can talk to you unlike that bastard Caesar and his plate-faced general. It'll do. Guess sometimes you get the bull, other times you get the horns. Still, at least some lives got saved this day. You know, I've had thousands of employees in my time. Few met my expectations. Fewer still surpassed them. Your performance has been nothing short of spectacular. If I have need for a specialist of your stripe again, I'll know just where to turn. Back to Vegas, shall we? I really should do something about that monorail with all the new resources at hand. I can make sure it not only runs, but runs on time. Always bothered me, the imprecision. No need to worry about the general, by the way. He'll be held responsible, publicly disgraced. 36.5% probability of suicide, by my estimate. Kimball won't be able to save him. He'll be too busy getting thrown out of office. But less than a 3% chance of suicide, mind you. Vegas might see a dip in revenue for a few months, half a year. But soon enough, the tourists and their money will be pouring in. Vegas will be a shining jewel in the middle of the desert, an oasis of light, a beacon to show mankind the way to the stars. This is just the start, you see. This is where it all begins. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. Mr. House's Securitron army took control of Hoover Dam and the Strip, pushing both the Legion and the exhausted NCR out of New Vegas. Mr. House continued to run New Vegas his way, a despotic vision of pre-war glory. The streets were orderly, efficient, cold. New Vegas continued to be the sole place in the wasteland where fortunes were won and lost in the blink of an eye. The courier, fair and kind-hearted to those in the wasteland, ensured that Mr. House would keep New Vegas stable and secure for future generations. Mr. House afforded her every luxury at his disposal in the Lucky 38, both out of gratitude and a quiet pride in his choice of lieutenants. Though some super mutants and Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utopitha, they found little trace of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. Still grappling with self-doubt over his usefulness in the face of old age, Raoul was never able to find peace with himself. Eventually, he left the Mojave and assumed a new name as he had done so many times before. Mr. House showed little interest on the Boomers, who eventually began venturing out to Nellis to meet and trade with travelers. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed settled into new lives or headed west to find a new chapter to join. The death of the Mojave Brotherhood came much too soon for Veronica, and in their absence, she felt truly lost. Yet in its wake, she took small comfort in her decision to remain by their side through their few remaining days. The Fiends staged an attack against Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. During the NCR's retreat, the Fiends overwhelmed many of the troopers before Mr. House's Securitrons could deal with them. After Mr. House gained control of New Vegas, he sent a Securitron to Good Springs as a token of appreciation for helping the courier. Victor was a mixed blessing, however, as he continually monitored the town for Mr. House. Rose of Sharon Cassidy died as her caravan died in an unmarked grave, another victim of the Mojave. Thanks to the courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. 
Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. Flush with his victory, Mr. House sent Securitrons into Freeside, thinking to increase his control over the area. When fighting broke out, the Kings fought valiantly, but were no match for the armored killing machines, and were wiped out to the last man. With the transplant of Lupa's brain, Rex gained all of the donor's experiences traveling with the Legion. These melded well with his own memories of the Legion, and his new mind quickly adjusted to the myriad memories. Shaped up by the courier's advice, the misfits distinguished themselves during the Legion's attack on Camp Golf. Mags was finally promoted to sergeant, and the rest of the misfits received an official commendation. They continued to serve with distinction for many years. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the wastes, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. After the majority of the Vault 19 powder gangers joined the Great Khans, the weaker members scattered throughout the Mojave wasteland. Though a few managed to erase their past, most never survived the journey. After Hoover Dam, Sheriff Myers runs Prim with his own style of frontier justice. He deals with most folks fairly, but now and then someone winds up dead with little to no evidence against them. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. <laughs> <laughs>